Isa pong pinagpalang umaga mga kapatid at uh, welcome po sa ating pong morning watch. Uh, we had a powerful worship uh, this morning and patuloy po tayong sasamba sa pamamagitan po ng pag-aaral at pagmananalangin po natin. Let's open our Bibles po in a very simple passage in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. I'll be reading from the Good News Translation. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Proverbs 4 verse 23. Ito po ay napakaganda at nais ko pong basahin po natin in our own translation pero maganda po yung sinabi po sa Proverbs 4.23, Good News Translation. It says here, Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Sa NIV naman po, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Tayo po ay sandalin yung buko at manalangin. Father, we thank you. And as we pray for our devotion today, we pray that you will continue to motivate us. We pray that you will continue to empower us. And your presence, your Holy Spirit, will continue to give us the wisdom and understanding that we need, O oh God, to understand your word. Lord, we know na napakadami pong principles and truth, the truth that we can find in your word. But we pray, O oh God, that we will really apply this sa buhay po namin. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, if you look at the other passages sa Bible, makikita po ninyo yung comparison about heart and mind. Thinking. So, to some commentators, they think that, they, they comment that uh, our heart is connected to what we think. Kung ano yung narandaman natin, it's actually connected by what we think. Kaya napaka-importante po ng ating pag-uusapan today, guard your mind. Guard your thought. Pag-iisip po natin. God is interested in changing our mind than changing our circumstances. Ang Panginoon po ay interested sa pagbabago ng ating pong isipan. Well, in fact, in the book of Romans, sabi po doon, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Uh, sometimes we pray sa Panginoon, Lord, tagalim yung mga problems ko, mga struggles ko, suffering, sickness, and sadness. That's not wrong. But God wants to move in our life first. Sometimes, may dumadaan tayong mga pagsubok sa buhay natin, hindi natin nakikita that God is using that struggle to change us para baguhin tayo. God wants to work on our life first. Because transformation will not happen unless we renew our mind. So, sabi po sa Romans 12, we be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Bakit po napaka-importante po na ating pong baguhin ang ating isipan, ang ating, uh, na i-guard lang po ang ating pong puso? Why is it important? Sabi po ng isang quotation, Uh, right thinking will be rewarded. Wrong thinking will be punished. Hindi po ito about positive thinking, ha? pero napaka-importante po ng balance na dapat po ang ating pong isipan ay tama sa harapan po ng Panginoon. Why is it important na ating pong batayan ang ating pong pag-iisip? There are three things that we need to take consideration. First, when we Manage, when we guard our mind and heart, it controls our life. Whatever we think, how we think affects our life. Uh, it affects how we behave. Sabi nga po kanina, be careful how you think your life is shaped by your thoughts. Napaka-importante po ng, na ang ating pong isipan ay nasa tamang katayuan. Tamang mindset, no? Uh, ibig sabihin po, wag po, na, wag, wag po nating i-bombard yung ating pong isipan ng mga maling katuruan. Especially po kayo sa social media, makikita po natin, ang dami po mga, lumalabas po mga links dyan, no? Uh, naaalala ko po tuloy nung ako po medyo bata-bata pa, isa po sa mga sumisikat po nun, yung mga chain messages, no? Sa Friendster, 
or sa Facebook, tumalabas doon. Pag, uh, ay, nakapost doon, so, sorry, sabi niya, nasend ko po sa ito. Pag hindi mo ipinasa sa sabong tao, mamalasin ka buong buhay mo. <laughs> so, isa po sa mga, ano, uh, alam po niyo hindi ko naman po sasabihin, yung isa po sa mga nag-share sa akin, Kristiyano. So, napapatawa po ako, sabi ko, uh, we are, imbis na encouragement ng ating, bon, nasa ating isipan, Yung ganong klaseng mentality ang lumalabas sa ating isipan. Whatever you think and whatever uh, you contemplate sa buhay po natin, it affects us. Whether it be, hindi lamang po sa mga messages sa Facebook, kundi yung mga sineshare po natin sa Facebook. So magingat po tayo sa mga sineshare po natin sa Facebook. Uh, meron pong post doon na... Um, Meron daw pong ganito, ganyan. Naalala ko po tuloy nung first lockdown po natin, no? Sa posta, di ko makakalimutan yung fake news na ang, ang COVID-19 daw napapatay ng banana, no? Nang uh, saging. Kaya isang araw po, uh, yung aking pong nanay, uh, dahil malapit po doon yung bentahan ng prutas, pumunta po siya, no? At uh, ang kinuha po niya, yung medyo pasira na pong, uh, hindi naman po sira, kundi malapit na pong sobrang hinog na po. Nabili po niya, sabi niya, pag po niya sa bahay, sabi niya, anak, nakabili akong banana, pamatay COVID, sabi niya. <laughs> At nakita ko po yung banana, bubog na, magkano nabili? 250, anak, ang mura lang. Yung iba, 400. Tumaas po yung presyo ng banana. Dahil sa fake news, na ito po yung nakakamatay ng COVID-19. So, we should guard our mind. We should guard ourselves from... From fake news, mga bagay-bagay po ito, because it can control our life. If you are uh, a true Christian, isa po sa mga binabantayin natin yung ating pong pag-iisip. For example, when someone told you when you are growing up, bagsak ka, hindi ka lalago, hindi ka magiging successful, will you allow that to control your life? No. Allow God's word to minister to you. Because Proverbs 4 verse 23, guard your heart above all else. In other translations, be careful what you think. Be careful what you contemplate for sa buhay po natin. Pangalawa po, we, sh- we need to guard our minds because the mind is not just the main control of our thought, of our life. The mind is a battleground. For sin. Ito po ay isang labanan. In Romans 7, verse 22 to 23, sabi doon, I love to do God's will so far as my new nature is concerned. But there is something else deep within me, sabi po ni Paul, in my lower nature that is at war with my mind and wins the fight and makes me a slave to the sin that is still within me. In my mind, I want to do God's willing servant. I want to be God's willing servant but instead, I find myself enslaved to sin. Romans 7, 22-23. So, mayroong struggle. No? May struggle po sa ating isipan, labanan, na kailangan po nating bantayan. Na kailangan po nating i-guard ang ating pong isipan. So, meron pong, uh, sabi nga po nila, conscience, at meron pong evil thoughts. So, totoo po yan, mo. Bagamat tayo po bilang kresyano, hindi na dapat tayo mapangunahan ng kasalanan. Pero because of our nature, nagkakasala pa rin po tayo. Unconsciously, nagagawa po natin yung mga bagay-bagay na yan. Naalala ko po tuloy nung ako po ay kakagaduy pa lang po sa uh, sorry, sa high school. Ako po ay nag-aaral sa seminary. Isa po sa mga ginagawa ko po, bubuta po ako sa uh, supermarket. Kasi yung karuhatan po, meron pong lugar doon yung South Supermarket. So bubuta po kami doon, naglalakad. Habang naglalakad po kami doon, Meron pong uh, tricycle. So, naglalakad. Basta, lakad lang po ako. Siguro, layo po, church, hanggang sa intersection. Yan. So, habang naglalakad po ako, I was just thinking, at uh, medyo hindi po ako nakafocus sa aking nilalakad, no? Hanggang sa nakapunta po ako, parang wala, hindi naman po sa wala sa sarili, pero parang wala, parang wala, go with the flow lang. So, habang ako po yung nag, kalakad po doon, kumukuha ng mga bilihin. So, nagbayad po ako. Tapos, naglakad na naman po ako pa uwi. 
Eh bigla po ako, pag uwi ko po sa dorm, pagkapa ko po sa aking uh, packet, may nakita po ako chocolate. <laughs> so yung chocolate po ito, choco mucho. <laughs> so dala-dala ko po yung choco mucho. Ay! To make the long story short, hindi ko po alam, nakuha ko, unconsciously, nag-shoplift ako noon. <laughs> hindi ko na bayaran. Nasa, sa isipan ko, hindi ka naman nahuli. Mura-mura lang naman yan, 6 pesos lang. Hindi naman sila manulugi dun eh. Pero at the back of my mind, sabi ko to, ay, hindi pwede. Hindi ko pwedeng isal- i- i-sacrifice yung 6 pesos. Pero sa isipan ko, sa isang isipan ko naman, hindi, hindi ka naman nahuli eh. Pwede mo namang hihingi ng tawad kay Lord yun eh. <laughs> diba? Diba? Pwede naman yun eh. Pero alam po ninyo, praise God, na naik po yung biyahe ng Lord. So namasahe po ulit ako. So yung pamasahe nun, mga 6 pesos, mas mahal pa dun sa Choco Mucho, pero binilig ko po. It all goes back to our mind. So we need to guard our heart and our mind. Sometimes, isa po sa mga nagpapahina po sa atin is in our thought patterns. So we have to guard our mind. When When other people say negative things about you, hindi ka ganito, hindi ka maging successful, guard your mind. Because it is a battleground. So, number one, guard your mind because it can control your life. Number two, guard your mind because it is a battleground. And number three, guard your mind because it can, it is a key for you to have peace sa ating pong isipan. So isa po sa mga kailangan nating bantayan no, ay yung ating pong pag-iisip because it can help us find peace. Why? Sabi po sa Romans 8 verse 6, letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. NLT version. But letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. So napakahalaga po na ating pong bantayan yung ating pong pag-iisip and allow God to really renew our mind. No, hindi po natin kaya ito mag-isa. Hindi po natin kaya ito na sa ating sarili kailangan po natin ang biyaya ng Diyos para tayo po ay mabago ang ating pong isipan. How do we live our life today? How, how do we think? Paano po po tayo nag-iisip sa mga panong ito? If we allow our mind to think about fake news, mga bagay-bagay na nakasira, when our mind is not renewed, it will produce tremendous effects in our life. Kapag ang ating isipan po ay hindi po nabago ng Panginoon at pinampangunahan tayo ng ating pong puso, isipan, actually, sa mga most Telenovelas, ang nakikita mo doon, sundan mo ang puso mo. Di ba? Sundan mo isipan mo. Kaya yung ibang mga telenovelas, hindi naman po ko nanonood. Pero karamihan doon, pansinin po niyo, puro kabit ng ganito, asawa ng ganyan. Kasi nga sinusundan niyo puso eh. Pero sinasabi sa Bible, huwag mo sundan ang puso mo. Guard your heart. Guard your thinking. Sabi nga po ng isang quotation, an unmanaged mind leads to conflict. A managed mind leads to confidence. An unmanaged mind leads to stress. When you don't try to allow God to control your mind and your thoughts, you will have an enormous amount of uh, struggles in your life. Ito po isang devotional po. Let God guide you. Let God manage our mind. Ating pong isuko kay Lord yung ating pong mindset. If we have a negative mindset, if we have a mindset na tayo po ay talunan, hindi po kay Lord yan. Allow God to control. Allow God to be in control of our mind. Proverbs 4.23 Good News Translation Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. tayo po ay sa daling nyo mo ko at manalangin na tas pray for the church mamaya po we'll pray for our request we thank you Jesus hallelujah Lord Lord we just come to you this morning Father God and Lord 
Uh, we want your presence. We want, Lord God, your power to just renew our mind today, Lord. Lord, baguhin niyo po yung aming pong pag-iisip. Lord, kung meron man sa amin discourage, kung meron man sa amin, Panginoon, ang madaling sumuko, Panginoon, Lord, we need your grace. We need your power to just change us, Lord. Change our thoughts and our minds, Panginoon. Dahil hindi po ninyo kalooban na kami po ay talunan, kundi ang kalooban po ninyo, Panginoon, ay kami po ay magtitiwala sa inyo to, to trust in you completely, Lord. And Father, this morning, if there's someone here who is feeling defeated, feeling down, discouraged, and stressed, O oh God, Lord, we thank you because you said in your word that we will be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Lord, renew our mind today. Change our mind. Change our thought pattern, O oh God, so that we could be able not just to be people of faith, O oh God, but to be people that, that thinks how you think, Lord. Hindi lamang po sa para sa aming sarili, Panginoon, kundi para sa iyong iglesia at sa iyong mga anak, Panginoon. Lord, baguhin niyo po ang aming pong iisip. Change us. Lord, change our hearts. Change our mind, Lord. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.